US Senator John McCain visited Kabul for talks with Afghan leaders ahead of the withdrawal of most US and coalition troops by December the 31st. McCain spoke with Abdullah Abdullah, who holds the newly created post of chief executive, ahead of a scheduled meeting with President Ashraf Ghani. Abdullah said he hopes that Afghan security forces will continue to have strong US support after most foreign combat troops withdraw. In the Tajik capital, Dushanbe, the National Anti-Drug Agency destroyed hundreds of kilograms of seized heroin and opium. Officials said that in 2014, the agency has confiscated nearly 1,300 kilograms of narcotics and arrested dozens of traffickers. Tajikistan is a major transit route for opiates from Afghanistan on the way to Russia and Western Europe. In Peshawar, members of Pakistan's Christian community observed Christmas with tight security measures in place at local churches. The holiday celebrations were subdued in the wake of last week's Taliban attack at a school in the city. Peshawar's Christian community has also been the target of extremist violence. A suicide bombing killed more than 80 Christians at a church in the city in September 2013. In Kosovo, midnight mass was held on Christmas Eve at the Mother Teresa Cathedral in Pristina. Some Muslims also attended the service, at which Bishop Dorda Gyergi called for peace and understanding between people of all faiths. The Christian minority in Bosnia-Herzegovina was also celebrating Christmas alongside members of other religions. Some Bosnian Muslims traditionally join Christian believers for Christmas services at Sarajevo's cathedral, as well as some Orthodox Serbs who observe Christmas on January the 7th. And in Kazan, the capital of the Russian Republic of Tatarstan, some 300 people celebrated the holiday at a church opened in 2008 to serve the city's Catholic minority. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.